Hey guys, welcome back to the MCUHQ, coming to you once again from downstairs. People who watched my Captain America Brave New World trailer reaction will be familiar with this room, and I'm not gonna lie, I'm kinda digging it. I might record down here more often. I've also got COVID again, so it sucks for me, but it's also a great opportunity for me to record all of my Deadpool and Wolverine prep videos in one go, so that I'm not stressed when release week hits. My dog's acting up over something. What's going on, buddy? But today we are here to deal with the procrastinators, the lollygaggers, if you will. Deadpool and Wolverine releases seven days, one week from the release of this video which is not nearly enough time for many of you to watch 33 Marvel movies, like 10 shows, and then like 13 Fox movies. So instead, I'm gonna be doing what I do for most of the Marvel movies that come out, where I will be giving you a rundown on what I believe to be the essential things that you need to watch before the movie releases. And as always, I will have this broken up into multiple different groups. The first one consisting of the most things to watch and the last one consisting of the literal bare essentials that you would need to catch yourself up if you've got no time left. And this has been the hardest one of these that I've had to put together because for the first time in MCU history, we have a movie that does not take place in the MCU. So I had to dig into the Fox universe and pull movies and stories out of there that I feel you need to watch to best understand this movie and be prepared for it. So we've got a combination of titles from two separate universes this time, which is the first time I've ever had to do that. All right, so I'm gonna stop wasting your time so you can actually get to watching these things. So without further ado, let's get into what you need to watch to prepare for Deadpool and Wolverine. Starting off with our first category, we just have what you would need, I feel, to best catch up on the world and characters. And I have nine titles on here, or 10, depending on how you want to count seasons of television. So kicking it off, we're going to get into something you guys are gonna judge me for because the copy of this movie I have is a very old DVD. It was a discard from a library I got when I was little and didn't have a Blu-ray player, but I really wanted to own this movie. And my mom worked at a library at the time so I got a copy of it, and that is the original X-Men. Let's just take a second to look at how disgusting this copy is. Like, it's gross. I would upgrade it, but I've had it for like 13 or 14 years, and it's been doing fine. So I haven't felt the need to upgrade it. But why do I have the original X-Men on here? when the Wolverine in this movie isn't even the same Wolverine from the upcoming film and Deadpool's not even in the movie. Well, that's because it's an introduction to the Fox universe. It gives you a vibe on just how that universe was, the universe that we're following up here. Deadpool and Wolverine's a love letter to that universe. We may as well watch the first thing that was in that universe. Uh, you get an introduction to what that universe's versions of Wolverine were like, get an introduction to the X-Men, you get Patrick Stewart and Ian McKellen in this, acting their asses off. This is the movie that decided to introduce the idea of putting the X-Men in black costumes, which was a trend that carried over for like 20 years, uh, and gave us the infamous joke that is now being paid off. You actually go outside in these things? What would you prefer? Yellow spandex? And also, it's just a good movie. It's not the best of the spectrum. It's not the worst of the spectrum. It just sits comfortably in the middle. But I love this movie. I love watching this movie. This movie was my childhood. I watched this all the time. And uh, I would gladly watch it again, and I think you should too, to prepare for Deadpool and Wolverine. All right, on to our second thing. 
and we are now, I'm actually going to do these next two together. Uh, now on to things that involve the titular character of the movie, and that is Deadpool 1 and Deadpool 2. I've got the extended cut here. I've never actually watched the theatrical cut of this, only ever the extended cut. Uh, but I mean, when you've got the extended cut, why would you watch anything else? But obviously these would be in here. Our two Deadpool adventures that we've got thus far featuring the exact version of the character we will be seeing in Deadpool and Wolverine. Gives you a look at the vibe of the character. And if you're someone who has not seen either of these, by the way, and are anticipating Deadpool and Wolverine, Give these a watch first, if for nothing other than the fact that it will give you a glimpse at how this character works, because he is different than pretty much every other Marvel superhero. He is his own breed, and he's not for everyone, but uh, the people who love him, there is a reason we love him, because he's great. Uh, now, first one, you can look at Wade, you can look at Vanessa. Uh, you really you get the origin of Deadpool, which I feel is kind of important. But the second one is where things really get important, because in this we introduce time travel, the X-Force. Deadpool really comes into his own as a hero. Uh, we get more of the X-Men in this movie. Uh, take that in quotes. Um, but I believe that this movie will be instrumental for the reason... Deadpool's now being arrested by the TVA. One of the reasons, I know that the trailers have given off the vibe that's because they need him, uh, but I feel that there's also part of it is because of some of the stuff he does in this movie. Uh, so definitely go ahead and watch both of these. Also, this one just has a great trio. Deadpool, Cable, and Domino is amazing. I wouldn't trade him for anything. It makes me sad that Cable and Domino aren't going to be in the third one. All right, now we get into some of our Wolverine stuff. And this is where I get to upset some of you. First thing I've got is X-Men Origins Wolverine. Now, I know a lot of you are wondering why you would want to rewatch this movie. Well, that's because Deadpool and Wolverine's going to be making fun of this movie every chance it gets. Let's not act like it won't. Deadpool has made fun of this in the previous Deadpool films. They've been making fun of it on the press tour for Deadpool and Wolverine. There is no way that they will not be constantly making fun of this film. I also think some of the characters in here will be cameoing in the upcoming one. And you get Deadpool in this. It's a very different Deadpool, uh, but this movie is also the reason a Deadpool movie exists because of what they did to the character in this. We now get the character that we follow in these other two movies and in the upcoming one. And hey, if for nothing else, you can make a really fun drinking game with this movie. I'm not going to give you the parameters of said drinking game. You can find it online, but I guarantee there are some drinking games that would kill you for this movie. Also, a guilty pleasure of mine. It's an atrocious film, but I love it. Moving on, The Wolverine, the black sheep of the X-Men universe. You don't need to watch this one. If there's anything on here you could cut out, it's probably this one, but I just tossed this on here because Wolverine got a trilogy. And uh, this was the middle chapter, and I think this is really solid. It's just an entertaining watch. Uh, and I guess it, it does a really good job, probably the best job of these three films, of touching on the drifter aspect of Wolverine, the samurai aspect of Wolverine, if you will. Or as we'll talk about with the next film, the same thing the Western does of the lone gunman who comes into a town uh, that we now know Wolverine for. And I'm sure we'll be picking up his arc with kind of a version of that, a version of that in Deadpool and Wolverine. So I included it, why not? Also a solid movie. There's a fight on a bullet train in this. I love it. Moving on to the big boy. 
Logan. If there is one Wolverine film that you have to watch going into Deadpool and Wolverine, it's Logan. Now, granted, they have said numerous times they're not going to touch Logan too much because Logan's the perfect ending. They don't want to mess with that movie a bunch. But they're going to be talking about the movie in the movie. Deadpool breaks the fourth wall. He, ta he talks about Logan in Deadpool 2, a movie that technically takes place after. <laughs> so... I'm including it. It's also just a fantastic movie in its own right. In my opinion, this is the second best comic book movie we've received after The Dark Knight. An argument could be made for Spider-Verse, but this just hits on all the emotions and all the themes. And you also get this little girl right there, who I am certain will be cameoing in Deadpool and Wolverine. And I think it might be the same version of that character. So it's important. Uh, it's important to prep for Deadpool and Wolverine. So it's just a damn good movie in its own right. All right, but that's the last of the Foxverse stuff that I have on here. So now we're going to get into some of the MCU titles I feel you need to watch. I'm going to touch on these next two together. It's Avengers Infinity War and Avengers Endgame. Now I know what you're thinking. Why would you have to watch these two movies that Deadpool is not in, have no connection to the Foxverse, uh, to prepare for Deadpool and Wolverine? That's honestly just because if there are two MCU titles you need to watch to best understand the vibe of the MCU, it's these two. And I'm fully aware that the people watching this video have definitely watched all of the MCU titles. Well, Maybe not some of the new ones, but I mean, you're, you're coming off a rewatch that consists of movies from another universe. You might as well toss some in that are movies from this universe. So you hit the vibes of both. I also think Deadpool will be talking a lot about these two films. There's some rumors he'll go to this movie. Um, but I feel that you should rewatch both of these before you see Wade Wilson join this universe. If for nothing else, that this double whammy represents the MCU at its absolute best. Hey, it's my dog with a bandage on him currently because he had surgery the other day. But not much to say about these uh, besides the fact that I feel it's a fun thing to throw into this rewatch. And last thing on here, I only have season one because season two has not been released physically yet. Loki. The reason you need to watch Loki is first and foremost because of the TVA. If you have not seen this series, the concept of the TVA might be a bit of a mystery. You know, obviously they'll do what they always do with these movies and they'll give you just a very tiny blurb in dialogue that, un that helps you understand the TVA if you did not see Loki, like they might have Paradox be like, yeah, we're kind of the, the authority that stands outside of time to make sure the timeline is as it's supposed to be, whatever. But if you wanna really dive into the TVA, if you wanna really dive into the multiverse, watch Loki. It's also just holy shit good television. It's some of the best content the MCU has ever released in my opinion. And I am waiting for them to release season two so that I can have them both. And I know I could just rewatch the series on Disney Plus, but I'm, I wanna hold off my rewatch until I get my steelbook of season two. So there you go. I'm gonna hold all this up for you. But I've got what I believe to be all of the things you should watch going into Deadpool and Wolverine. But let's say that's too much stuff for you, which is fair. So I trimmed out some of the fat here and I narrowed it down a bit further. And this is just if you had to get the most important info for both characters going into this movie, what would you watch? So I've once again got Deadpool and Deadpool 2 for all the reasons illustrated uh, a few minutes ago of why you need to watch these two movies. I've also got Logan. If there's one Wolverine story you need to watch, it's Logan, again, for all the things I just illustrated. 
And then, of course, I've got Loki again. I feel Loki's super essential. The concepts in this series is what bridge Deadpool from his universe into the MCU. So I feel you should be watching Loki regardless. And if you haven't watched Loki, what's wrong with you? You're missing out on great television. But so yes, if, if you had to strip it down and just say, hey, I need the most important info I can get on both of these characters and this story going into the movie, it's these four things right here. But we're going to strip it down a bit more by taking this guy out. So this is what I, I, I call this one the essentials on my notes here, and it is Deadpool 1, Deadpool 2, and Loki. And the idea of this is you are getting fully caught up on Deadpool, which also gives you his infatuation with Wolverine because you can pick up on how important the crossover is going to be just based off these two movies. Uh, you're fully understanding the character, and Deadpool and Wolverine is a sequel to this. So watch these two, and then Loki again, because I feel that it's what you need. Now, the last thing I've got on here, it's just a category called if you had to pick one thing. And there's a few different options here. But basically, the idea is if you can only pick one thing you're going to watch, I suggest you pick from one of these three. Deadpool 2, specifically, because this introduces you to the X-Force, some of which we'll be seeing in this movie, even if it's briefly. The idea of time travel, we really get to see Deadpool's jealousy of Logan in this one from the very start. I mean, hell, the opening line of the movie is this. Fuck Wolverine. Another one, if you only had to pick one title, could be Logan. Refresh yourself on Wolverine before you see him team up with Deadpool. And then, of course, I've got, once again, Loki. Uh, actually, on my notes, what I put under it is I emphasized Loki because of the TVA, because of the multiverse, because of the time travel. This is what bridges the universes, it looks like, based off the marketing for this. So I went ahead and tossed that on here. But if you had to pick one title, I recommend you pick from these three right here. So there you guys go. Those are my picks on what you should watch to prepare for Deadpool and Wolverine. Let me know if there's anything on here that you would have included or would have taken out and leave it down in the comments below because hey if i made a mistake and someone else is watching this video maybe your comment will help them pick out the best things that they need to watch otherwise let me know what you intend on watching to prepare for Deadpool and Wolverine, as well as what you're looking forward to or how excited you are for Deadpool and Wolverine. Let's get a nice little lively discussion going in the comments. As well, leave a like on this video, subscribe, and click on the bell icon to receive all notifications from the MCU HQ, mainly because my Deadpool release videos consist of a video every day for the week of the movie and then a video or two every week before the movie comes out. MCU movies are the biggest time for my channel. So click on the bell so you get notified of every single one of those as well as when my review goes live. Otherwise, that's going to be it. Have a great day, guys.